Uh, hi, in this video, we are going to see what is API specification. So if you look at this naming, right? So what exactly it meant for specification? So specification is like instruction or definition. So for example, you are developing some API, but for that, you need to give or write some design for it. So API specification, it is done at the stage of API design. So in the API design phase, we need to give our instruction about our API. So basically, somebody is calling our API, what parameter they need to pass it. So if it is a get method, what is the endpoint they need to call or what is the method they need to use it or if they need to pass some headers or query parameters. So those kind of information, we need to document it with the proper uh, syntax. For example, your title of the API or your API description will go in the title. And similarly, right, if you have a resource endpoint. So for example, in this example, I have kept as orders. So orders as a resource or it is called as an endpoint. And in the particular endpoint, what are the different method I have? So here I have only get method. Similarly, if you have to get the orders, so I have a get method. And in the get method, I'm just giving instruction about my API. So when someone calls my orders method, orders resource using get method, what are the parameters they need to send it? Are they need to send any headers or query parameters or any, so query parameters. So those kind of things only it's required for get method. So when they call it, what kind of response they will receive? So those kind of responses detail, right? Or the sample response, you can mention it here. So this way you can tell your definition or instruction about your API to anyone by creating API specification. Because every time somebody wants to know or invoke this order send point, right? So I cannot explain by email uh, how they need to invoke my API. So whatever it's required for developing an API or implementing in the API, we need to create a specification in the API design phase. So in that case, we will be creating some specific specification template. It could be RAML, or it could be some open API specification as well. So here, uh, this particular one, it's previous version, it's called as a Swagger. So we can use any of the definition or specification method to create your specification. So if it's an open API specification, you have an option to create as a YAML or you can use a JSON to create that one. So this way, you can create an API specification and you can share it with anyone, for example, your partner or other development team. So they can refer that to implement your API. So here I just mentioned only get method. Similarly, if you have a post method, right, you can write post here and then you can mention all the details about the post. So for example, in the post, instead of sending header or query parameter or URL parameter, I'll be sending some data in my body of the request. So so I, what, what kind of sample I needed? So that I can mention it here. Similarly, once I posted the request to my order API, what kind of response I will receive, right? So those kind of things I can define here. So this way, we can have a get method or post method in the same API specification. Similarly, here I have orders where I'm trying to get the order or post the order or even I'm trying to send the order. Similarly, you can write in number of method like get, post, post is just creating or uh, creating the record. Similarly, if you want to write a put to update the record, you can use a put method to update the record. So this is for one order endpoint. So similarly, if you wanted to have a similar related function in the same API specification, then that you can mention it here. So for example, I have uh, something for promotion, okay? So uh, then I have a endpoint called promotion and is it a get or post? That definition I will specify it here. So it's a very simple. So anything about the particular API, I can mention it here. So I'll just tell you one simple example. So why do we need a specification, right? So for example, when it is a API, it can be consumed by anyone. So for example, some of the method, it is common for many. Assume you are, uh, you are in a company called Amazon. So where somebody wants to post the order or invoke a promotion API from anywhere else, from the different third party application or website, then we need to share the API details to them. So Amazon company has to share the API details to them. So how do they share their millions of partners, right? So this, they will create an API specification and finally, they will publish into some API portal and they will share it with their particular partners. This way, everyone can consume their API specification to understand how they need to develop an API or the, how they need to consume the API. Whenever they call an API, what are the methods they need to pass it? And when they call that API, what kind of response they will receive? So that kind of things we will specify in the API specification. 
thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye